Hey everyone, today I'm doing a first impressions of the Australis Contour Palette, the Cream Palette. Um, it came out on the floor yesterday and I thought why not tell you all about it and give a first impressions. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's exactly like the black one, just reversed in colour, so it's white. Um, then it comes with this little plasticky thing and it looks exactly the same as the powder palette and on the inside it looks like this but it's got a mirror this time and the creams look like this. This palette retails for $24.99 and these, I've just got the other one here to compare it. My other one's a bit dirty but there's the two. Now, on the outside of the packaging, the colours look like that, but they don't look anything like what's in the palette, so I wouldn't go off this little chart in the corner there. Okay, so I will insert some swatches and all of that um, probably here. I'm just going to go in with my 301 um, Real Techniques Bold Metals Contour Brush and I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to go try the darkest colour in the corner here and let's see how it goes. I already do have my foundation on by the way. Whoa. So... It's quite pigmented, but you can work with that. I can blend it better than I can the powder. Because I just put that on my face and I've already blended it up the side. The colour payoff is a lot better than the powder as well. I prefer this actual colour and it suits my skin tone a lot better so I'm quite happy with that hmm but no that looks pretty good hmm happy with that I actually slept on the pillow with a fold or something so I have a line down this <laughs> side of my face so just don't worry about that um we're just working on the palette. <laughs> okay, so I'm really happy with the bronzing kind of side of things. I'm going to try the highlighting side now. With my finger, I'm just going to dab it on. too bad it doesn't give you like a shiny highlight but it just gives you that matte kind of highlight look and then the banana kind of color I'm going to try under my eyes yep I like that it just lifts the eye a lot more, makes it look more awake. It's quite nice. So after all of that, I really actually like this palette. It's quite nice, very creamy, goes on smoothly. Um, if you've got paler skin like I do, um, the colours will work for you. This is the light palette. The other colours I haven't come out yet. I haven't seen them out yet. Um, I'm not sure if they're coming out, but I'm pretty sure they will because they came out in the other palettes. But yeah, I'm really happy with this palette. But I did really like the powder palette as well. So yeah, it just kind of makes cream contouring quite easy. I didn't contour like fully because I don't really do that. I just I do a light kind of contour, but 
it seems to be looking really good and I'm really happy with it. So that is my review. I really like it. It's got on the back here all the different face shapes and things you can do, all the different contouring things. Um, but yeah, once I set that into place with all my powder and everything, that'll be great. So my first impressions is I really like it. So let me know in the comments down below if you have it and what you think of it. I think I love it and it's very blendable, very creamy and it, the colour just matches me really well. So please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked reviews like this and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.